Why did God decide that wewe na mimi atume mwanawake atukufie? Eh, yeah, mwambie. Ni kwa nini? When God is yeah. done with the yeah. in the universe. But I want to tell you one thing. The love of God did not end. That is what religion tells you. That is what the people of the law tell you. But the love of God was still there. And we can see God in the book of Genesis is telling us that the seed of the woman will trample against the head of the serpent. Na tunaona ya kwamba hii upendo ilikuwa zaidi. Na hiyo seed we can see it now from the Old Testament to the New Testament. It is being revealed. And this very seed now it is Jesus himself. Now Jesus comes and tramples on the head uh, at the head of the serpent. And that very serpent we are talking about, it is the devil himself. Now we can experience the love of God. When Jesus came forth, he came forth so that you and me can experience the love of God. That love that was hidden according to the law. It was hidden with the people of the law. But now God demonstrated his love. But God demonstrated his love for us in this way while we were still sinners nataka uangalie kitu hapa kitu hapa while we were still sinners christ died for us yesu anakuja ana deal na dhambi anaitoa na saa hizi tunapokea uhai now we have life in christ in abundance because of one thing the love of god sheria inakuambia you are condemned that is what the law tells you the law tells you that you're condemned. We umehukumiwa. Watu fulani wanakuambia usipofanya kitu fulani we umehukumiwa. Lakini this love of God now we can experience it because God decides to send his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is what God decided. He made a decision. We can go back in the book of Genesis and we can see something else. And God said, let us create man in our own image. It was not you and me. It was the formation of Christ. That was a prophecy. Hiyo ilikuwa tu ni utabiri. Na hiyo utabiri kakamilika. And it was now Christ in human form. Himself being God. He came now to rescue humanity. In the New Testament we see a man by the name John the Baptist. He introduces Jesus and he says, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. He comes to take away the sin of man. That is what God intended for mankind. The sin of unbelief. Hiyo ndiyo dhambi wewe na mimi tulitenda. Kutoamini mungu. Hiyo ndiyo Adam na Eve walitenda pale. Kutoamini mungu. That is what they did. And now Christ came now to reveal a righteousness ile haki ilikuwa imepotezwa and now we can live in this righteousness bibili inasema we are the righteousness of god in christ jesus so today as young people we are here to tell you it is not because we were we are lazy it is not because we don't have anything to do it is because we have experienced the love of god and that is why of that love we are here to tell you that the love of god is upon each one of us and there is nothing you need to do you don't need to come and give us money we don't need your money it is not about taking something to your pastor it is about you believing in this truth no there is nothing that you need to do it is by believing what jesus did upon the cross at calvary what jesus did he died and he spilled his blood and that very blood was a demonstration of our deliverance najua wengi wakisikia neno deliverance this is what they believe there is something that they need to do so that they can get to that very uh, understanding of what deliverance is 
But I'm here to tell you, deliverance is not something that is prayed. Deliverance is taught. Lazima ufunzo deliverance ni nini? Deliverance si kuombewa. That is what Jesus did. We can see the, in the Bible, Jesus is saying that he preached deliverance. He was not praying for you to be delivered, but he taught people to be delivered. And that is what Paul is saying in the Bible. Paul is saying one very, very powerful words. Be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. And that is why we are here to tell you, you have to be transformed by being renewed and to your very mind. Kuna msani mmoja alisema, jina lake Bob Marley akasema, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Leo hii tuko hapa kukuambia, maybe not the same words, but your very mind should be transformed so that you can understand what Jesus did on the cross. He delivered humanity. Alisha kukomboa. Hawitaji njia ingine kukombolewa. Ni wewe kuwamini tu. Your sins were forgiven. Ni wewe kuwamini ulisamehewa. Everything was done away. Complete. Wana Yesu sifiwe sana. I love what God did. He presented his son as a sacrifice. He enabled humanity to experience his love. That love that was lost. And Jesus comes forth and tells us that it is the father that has sent me. Amenituma mimi. Ili njini mkapate kukombolewa. So we are here my brothers and my sisters. Why are you waiting? Kwa nini badu unanungunika? Why are you there complaining? Why are you asking questions? Preachers from, from day one. Hadi walewa na ubiri wakisema. The same things we are telling you. Kuna watu wengi wametokea prophets. Wame ubiri the same things we are telling you. Kwani mungu wakona makosa. In every generation. God has to raise a people. That will spread. This very good news. So we are here to tell you the good news of Jesus. That there is not, there is no condemnation for those that are in him. You are not condemned. If you are in Christ Jesus, there is no condemnation. There is no penalty of death if you are in him. Everything has been concluded. Hallelujah. Man. Everything has been sorted. What is there that is remaining? It is for you to believe. To believe in this truth. And before you believe it, you have to understand. You have to know it. You have to come into that knowledge. You have to come into that reality. And it is by educating yourself in this very truth. And then you believe it. So what Jesus came to do, he came to present that truth. So that you can hear it. You can feel it. You can see it. And after you do that, you confess it. It is all by believing. So God's love is so wide. It doesn't care what you've done. It doesn't care what you did. It doesn't care what people are saying. Because that love extends to the corners of the earth. And that love has covered us as humanity. Because it is a love that doesn't want you to perish. It, uh, it is a love that doesn't want you to go to hell. It is a love that wants to separate you from evil and bring you into the light that brings fulfillment. And that very light, it is Christ. It is Christ coming in the, in the midst of men and letting men understand that God's love is in full. There is nothing else. God's love is in full. As young people, vijana wale mkoapa, I want to challenge you. It is not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. Even for us to lika pale nyumbani, and we didn't know that one day we are going to go to the streets and preach. But we are here not by might, not by our own understanding, but by the Spirit of the Lord. So we are here to tell you once again that the love of God is an immense in this place. Ile upendo wa Mungu iko hapa. Hii upendo wa Mungu, hiyo hiyo upendo unaonanga kwa pasta yako wako, iko juu yako pia. Hiyo grace we mwenyewe unaiongea, 
iko juu yako pia wewe na pasta yako mko same level vile Mungu anampenda pia anakupenda yeye yeah, yuko juu wewe huko chini you are in the same level baba hezi penda mtoto mmoja zaidi kuliko ule mwingine that is how the love of god is he loves you with an everlasting love so i conclude by telling you there is nothing that you need to do hakuna pesa unafaa utoe hakuna kitu unafaa uuze ili ukapokee hii kitu ni wewe kuamini tu it is for you to believe it is for you to get into this reality because jesus loves you najua wengi mmesikia hiyo neno kwa kwa miaka mingi sana jesus loves you jesus loves you but let me tell you it is true and it is definite for you to experience it is for you to know it and to believe it and trust me it is a love that is so overwhelming and you don't have to do anything and it was given to us freely bibili nasema our freedom was purchased our freedom was given to us freely nakumbuka kuna story pale america wakati uh, the black people pale america walikuwa wanaachiliwa wengi wali, waliambiwa mko free lakini wengine walikataa kuamini wale waliamini wako free na wakaenda nyumbani Today we talk about them. They are the billionaires in America. Lakini wale walikataa kuamini hao wako free. Walibaki kuwa wajakazi. It is for you also to believe. And there is nothing else. Ni wewe uamini tu. Ukiamini then you will be free. You will be set free from religion. You will be set free from dramas and circuses of this world because the love of God abounds the love of god is so much uwe uwe mama uwe msichana uwe mvulana uwe mzee uwe nani that love is so much kila wakati huwa nasema biblia sio kitabu ya kuhubiri mambo ya biashara biblia sio kitabu ya kuhubiri wewe vile utapata pesa biblia ni kitabu ambayo inakuhubiria kuhusu maisha ya milele kama unataka kusomea biashara kuna shule za biashara endo ukasome biashara wale wanakuhubiria biashara kupitia biblia wanakudanganya najua haujaisikia hii ni kwa sababu pia sisi tume take time and we've studied this book we've read this book and we've seen something in this book and we have experienced it there is a man who went all over killing christians by the name paul One day on his way to Damascus wale wamesoma hiyo story we can see him now getting to experience the love of God akiwa on his way he had a voice and this voice was speaking and telling him why are you persecuting me Paulo hakuelewa but at that particular moment when he came to that knowledge that it was Jesus speaking to him then he was freed from all the things that he did na tunaona from the book of acts zile vitabu vyote vya new testament it is paul who wrote all those books and he's writing those books because he experienced the love of god hallelujah he experienced it so young people of this place i tell you it is our time to arise and shine and to declare what the lord has done We are here now to tell you it is a high time to tell to tell the world that we are not going to dwell in sin we are not going to dwell in prostitution we are not going to dwell in homosexuality we are not going to dwell in, in lesbianism because all those things they only satisfy the, the, the flesh and after we've satisfied the flesh what happens the flesh dies But now God is concerned about your relationship. Niluliza swali. 